Physios Studio is the successor to OE Cake. It's made by the same people. And if you don't know what OE Cake is, you should definitely look it up. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to start it. You simply go to the website first of all, and in case any kind of a link changes, I will always update the video info on the side. Now, this is a web based application, so you will be required to download some certificates and to create an account. And after that, you can hit the start button and log in. But we'll skip that process for now and I'll show you the uh, system requirements. Now, they recommend Windows Vista. Um, doesn't matter which version, 32 or 64 bit. Uh, you also need the Net Framework, and I'll link that on the side as well. Um, now, it works in uh, Windows XP. These are just recommendations, except for the .NET thing. You definitely need that. And you need Internet Explorer 7 or 8, it says. And they also have a recommended system down there with uh, CPU and graphics and such. Okay, now I'm going to show you the problem when starting it. This only happens on 64-bit systems. So Windows XP 64 and Windows Vista 64. Uh, it pops up a new, new browser window, as you can see. Now, the problem with that is it's actually launched to a different browser. If you go to the Help and About, uh, section, you will see that it's launched a 64-bit version of Internet Explorer. And I'll go back to the one where we started it from, and it's the 32-bit, it doesn't say 64-bit in there. And this causes problems when you try to play the game. So what you do is you copy and paste the URL into your 32-bit browser with the start button. And then you press enter, and it should be all good. And if any other problems pop up, I'll add them to the video info. Okay, now this is the login screen where you type your username or other your email and your password. And it has a little box down the bottom where you select which language, Japanese or English, you prefer to use. And this thing isn't the fastest either, it will lag your system. And it might take a bit to load sometimes. Now, the first thing I'll show you is Drawing Studio. Uh, when you go in, it loads this main screen which shows other people's creations and the um, the items that have been used the most. Okay, and we click create and it takes us into the actual application. Now, this is similar to OCake. Up at the top, you have all your tools. Um, you have pencil, move, uh, all that stuff, brush. And there's a new one around which is uh, link and I'll get to that later. Okay, but before that, I'll load a background because I don't like the pure whiteness. And we'll just load any random picture. Okay. Um, on the left are all your materials uh, that you can choose. Uh, for example, water. I'll make a bit of water now. And then I'm going to make some red water and some yellow water. I'll make a box of it. I'll just get rid of this stuff and start something new. Now there's um, other materials like elastic and rubber and I'll show those now. It bounces around nicely and um, I'll draw a bit of string now. That's actually a bad demo. I'll um, make a wall and attach the string to it. So it bounces around. And there's other stuff you can play with, like um, wood. Wood's new. Um, not sure what else. A bit of gasoline. I'll put some gasoline up there and burn it later. It'll melt the plastic. Or the rubber. Um, might set fire to that stuff. Melt the plastic. Uh, the wood will burn. There you go. Even the string burns. And I'm just making some water now uh, to put out the fire to make steam. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video. 
I'll make a block of fire just to make heaps of steam. I'll just keep doing it. And you should be able to see it now, I suppose. Alright, and I'll just show you this link tool now. I'll use one of those um, axis things which spins in the air. Just make a rubbish shape out of it. And I, forget, I forgot to mention that there's a pause button up there that you can press. And now I will attach a block of uh, wood <coughs> to this thing. And the way you do that is you click the link. And yeah, you have to drag a line from one to the other. And that will create a virtual link. Okay, and I'll unpause it and I'll move, I'll try to move the thing with a bit of water. But I doubt it'll have enough um, strength. Yep. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll burn the wood and the thing should come free because it's not attached anymore. Yep. Anyway, that's the new thing. And you can also import pictures on the side. Uh, there's a pull down menu and it makes it go real slow as well. Um, if you try to draw during the loading process, uh, it'll go real slow, like I'll show you now. Okay, and I've put in two cats now. Um, I've chosen wood before dragging them in, which didn't seem to actually make them into wood. So what you have to do is you have to use this um, tool. You, you, you select your material and then you press the tool, it's replace. And then you have to go all over the cats because if you click just on one place it won't do the whole thing. So go over both of the cats with the wood tool and then they'll be flammable. There we go. Okay, and that's pretty much it for now. Um, it's only a prototype preview it says, so it might get more advanced, I'm not sure. But I'll show you um, Game Studio now. Now Game Studio is basically the same thing, except you can make your own levels and um, play other people's, which I suppose you can do anyway. But these have like a goal to them. And we'll start with the last thing, it's a mini game. Uh, basically, you need points to play it, and uh, you can scoop up objects to, to use in the uh, drawing studio. Okay, you hit the start button to get it going, and then you press this red one to drop it. And you press it again when you want it to go back up. And I'll press it now. And doesn't have anything. Okay, but anyway, you get the point. Um, there's a level creator where you can make your own levels. I haven't really explored it. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, there's a challenge thing. And this is where you do um, challenges for points, I believe. Yep, I'll try, we'll try this one, which never used to be up the first time I played it and looks like a giant wheel and it costs points to even enter it <laughs> okay now you use your arrow keys to control the guy and you simply have to get to the door at the other end And if you've completed it, it'll give you extra points. Now, um, free play and tutorial modes are similar. The tutorial uh, is simply, you have a character and you can draw stuff like wall or spawn water and such. And the free play is where you play people's levels, but you don't have to worry about points. And that's pretty much it. So remember, um, if there's anything, uh, any other problems, I'll probably post video info on the side. And don't forget to subscribe, as usual. That's all.